Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so this is a, a very solid beginning or an opportunity to, to have some sort of serious beginning this could be an offer this could be some sort of promise from someone but whatever it is it's definitely something reliable it's trustworthy it's the real deal it's it's something um that can actually last a long time and you can trust it so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this so we have the Eight of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next, you have the Five of Cups, Water Energy, and finally, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So there is this energy with the Eight of Cups. It's like walking away from something, leaving something behind with a bit of a heavy heart, because you also have that Five of Cups next to it. Um, looking at a situation and being feeling very pessimistic about this. It's like you're starting to see the situation as glass half empty, that you've given a lot to the situation and it, it just seems hopeless that you can't give any more to this. You have to value yourself. You're choosing yourself. You're, you're choosing to abandon something or to walk away. So there is this energy of leaving something behind, moving on to the unknown, but knowing that better will come. Um, and there is this energy of, you know, honoring yourself by doing that, knowing your worth. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it does look like better will come. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. So it does look like it won't be right away but um after leaving this behind what isn't serving you there is going to be an opportunity for a new beginning and this is definitely one that's more reliable something more in alignment with you and more solid something that has the you know the the promise of being um real um with the knight of pentacles um this could be someone new here coming your way or a new opportunity or this this is just an energy of moving on to greener grass um so whatever you're leaving behind i, I do see that it, there's this energy of leaving it with a heavy heart um but I, I don't see you regretting that decision so let's clarify these cards aries at the bottom of the deck we have the page of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so this is an energy of new opportunity someone here is going to reach out to you and um invite you um or offer you this it's like this new beginning um there is this energy of this is something that um you'll be quite excited to hear of um i do see this as um you know it's an it's a it's a it's almost like it's uplifting you from taking you out of a down energy and um you know lifting your spirits or your mood so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries so we have the four of pentacles in the reverse and this is earth energy next we have the high priestess in the reverse pisces energy so you could be dealing with the pisces and finally you have the moon 
Um, this is Pisces energy again. Uh, so you could be dealing with a Pisces or even a Cancer. So there is something here about the situation that you may not completely know fully. It's like with the Moon card, it's like things are not um, things. Some things are hidden around the situation, and you're gonna get clarity on this because the High Priestess in the reverse is an energy of someone opening up to you, and we also have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, which is also an open energy. So um, you will be hearing from someone who was quiet, someone who went silent on you. Um, they, they, this could have been someone who was keeping secrets, or they could have just been not opening up. Um, this person will reach out with the page of wands there's something this person wants to tell you and it, it is regarding some sort of secret um this could be someone who is opening up and this leads to an opportunity for a new beginning with the ace of pentacles um but this could also just be someone giving you the closure that you need to move on and attract something new to you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you aries So the card says balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces so you have more pisces energy emotional energy so there is going to be a period of a lot of emotional emotions um but the eight of cups again is that leaving with a heavy heart and dealing with past emotions as well um but i do see you guys coming to a place of balancing this um you know coming to a place of um understanding um having some sort of closure or acceptance around something that once made you feel very deeply a lot of emotions um it could have even been emotional pain with the five of cups okay so i'm going to put another card for you aries So the card says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership okay so someone here could want to work on this partnership with you they could reach out come after you after you leave but it's like it, there is this um this energy of wanting to communicate something reveal something to you with the intention of being able to fix things with you okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you aries So the card says determination and creative achievements. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. So there is this determined energy. Someone still wants to work on something. They still want to create with you. They want to fix something. They want to heal a connection with you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.